Alright guys, welcome back again to some more AI The Somnium Files. So where we last left off, we were investigating the mother of Ota, who was an important witness to the scene of the crime that happened not that long ago. And right now, we just learned he's a big fan and pretty much an otaku at that. So we're gonna continue on and see what's what, so I hope you all continue to enjoy watching. Let's keep it rolling. Alright everyone, welcome back. So where we last left off, we were investigating Oda's mother. And I think we have more to go through, actually. Did we go through all the package? Let's talk through some more. Ota's mother, Mayumi Matsushita. Okay, we went through her already. Package. We had an x-ray too. Right, we learned there was a model. Alright, and anything else to tell her? Turn it for our apron, come to think of it. The knife is also. Should we investigate the kitchen knife? A kitchen knife on top of the table. There are words in the handle. Let's zoom in. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Date, I found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An A-set figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnusgate. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemnusgate. Renju owns that company. Correct. Uh, excuse me, does the name Lemnusgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. All right. Let's go. We're heading over to this new area called Lemniscate. Lemniscate, Saturday, 11.45 a.m. That's him? Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? I showed him my badge. I'm from the MPD. I gotta say, I'm loving these graphics though. <laughs> the police? Alright, Ota. Are you a fan of Aset? What can you tell me about last night? What are you typing? Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. Wow, this Ota kid has been doing his homework. This is the type of kid I hate the most. Wow, what are you typing? Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? Man, I feel like I heard that voice actor before. No, I'm kind of busy right now. It's not giving me much to work with here. How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? Gotcha. <laughs> Punch him. Alta won't even look in my direction. He's just typing away at his laptop. Alright. I'm not gonna punch him. We're gonna... Alta's laptop. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. 
I can't do it. Hmm, I feel like I can do... What about... What else can I examine from him? Low table. A low table hey, on the sofa. What do you think would happen if I flip this table over right now? It would come out of your salary. Eh, you're probably right. Guess I won't. Am I gonna have to punch him? So far. So far a sofa. It's a sofa. <laughs> no kidding. So I can examine all these other areas, but... Receptionist. What's she have to say? This receptionist with a <laughs> huge breast sitting behind the desk. Alright, well, great observation. Really? The only other ways to punch him? Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Then what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. <laughs> Kick him. I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Oh, she hacked into it for us now. Nice. Does Tessa refer to Aset? <laughs> to Witter. That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub-accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. All right, hey kid. Hey kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Aset. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Nah, uh, uh, what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? Have done my homework also, kid. I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. Ah, <sighs> fine. Okay, uh... When you start making fake accounts. Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just... Don't do it again, okay? Alright. About last night. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. <laughs> hey everyone, uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk, just... Shh. <sighs> I went to Bloom Park... because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. Oh, my friend. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Oh, I'm confusing you know her, her with the other girl. <laughs> it's, not, it's not Mizuki, it's uh, the one that got murdered. But I am looking after her too, so... Yeah, I know her. I guess she is my friend too. Alright. How do you know Mizuki? She's just a friend. Yes, yeah, she better be. <laughs> what? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. 
Well, what am I supposed to call it? Alright, why are you here? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Interesting. So how do you know Mizuki? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. <laughs> Look at that cocky face too. Hey, Ota, how about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author to be exact. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Can you provide a detailed account of last night? Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. Can you provide detail account of last night? What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Kid just ran like no one's business. Did you leave her there? Did you leave her there? You left a 12 year old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. I tried using my cell phone at first. But my heart was pounding, and I was scared, and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Ota's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. Tessa, what are you doing? Tessa! And you are? Mr. Dante from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean, a detective? Wow! I've never met a real detective before! Date, your adrenaline level is rising. I gotta say, I'm liking these in-game cutscenes. Is something the matter? No, nothing. Does he know her? Are you ASAP? What's your relationship with Ota? Relationship? 
her like a goddess in a summon thrall. And you're proud of that. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Stop! You're making me blush! Oh boy. This guy... Alright, are you a set? Let me confirm something. You're a set, right? <laughs> Let's play a game! Shadows! Um, thread? Silhouette? A set! Fears! Uh, upset? Regret? A set! Mm, water! Wet sweat? A set! <laughs> Yay! A set, you bet! That was so weird. The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave. At once. I still got questions. Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so we hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... Mizuki and I live under the same roof, but she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. How old are you? I turned 18 this year! A senior in high school? Yep! Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make a move. He said that out loud. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? <laughs> About the sock, the sock puppeting. Hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on Two Winner. <laughs> Wait! Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. There you go. Alright, we're cool with that. Bot a set. Gee, Tessa. You always look so cute. Man, this guy is just smitten, man. So, so cute! So cute that I can't take it! Easy there. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully... familiar with her. I can't help it! Her loving aura is in the air! When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? I wonder, if you're in the same situation with Aset instead of Mizuki, would you still run away if you saw the dead body? Did you talk to her about last night? Oh, um... I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa? Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? Actually... I already knew about it before Ota told me. How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. Hmm... About Shoko Narami. I took out Shoko's photo from my pocket and showed it to Ota. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Not really, Ben. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Please, let's do. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. 
In that case, I'll go with you. No. You'll what? Please take me with you. No. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Oto is telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Oja, take a video! Huh? Just do it! Mr. Date! Please, Mr. Date! You can't leave me! What? I can't imagine life without you! What are you doing? Did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. Just go blackmail me. If they gave me the choice to dodge her, I would have dodged her in a heartbeat. What are you doing? Mr. Date? You are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? Again, if this was me, I'd be like, yeah, go ahead and do it. You're still not coming with me. You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... Why are you doing this? I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. You can tell Oza's really ticked off. It's mad jealous. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. I don't believe that for a second. Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. That's a terrible thought. Something wrong? No, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. Hmm. Then again, he could also be a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? Alright, map it up. Boom Park it is. Let's go. Alright, so we can talk to her. Wow, this is pretty interesting. I actually like the, la the laid-back atmosphere this game has. At the same time, it manages to balance out like the right amount of like moments to interrogate, get into like the serious scenes, and back into the laid-back ones. Alright, let's see. Why did you become an idol? Ba-ota. Alright, let's go with why did you become an idol? Well... I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous, get on TV, be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs and dances and play video games and stuff on stream. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Hmm. Something tells me she'll eventually get more though. Alright, how about... How'd you start working for Lemniscate? Well, at first all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but... I started getting pretty big. Surprise, surprise. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. But anyway, one day, Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up! Hmm, interesting. 
All right, how about Mizuki? We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. Did her voice get... Did it, did it go down a pitch? That's funny. It's almost like we get to hear the real her. Alright, what about Ota? Why do you ask? You two are very close, for an idol and a fan. Ota is... special. He really is like... a hero to me. Hero, huh? Mm-hmm. Questions... questions... Ah! What's it like being a detective? Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm-hmm. But... you are a cop, right? Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! Man, I'm liking Date more and more, man. He is so good at what he does. What are you doing? Just thinking about posting that video. Ugh. Who cares, letter? Whoa, whoa, hold up now. Well then, tell me! I wouldn't have taken this girl. I wouldn't have cared. <laughs> oh, we still gotta talk to her? That's funny. Alright. Bought that video. You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. That's true too. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. Uh, it is? Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Okay, things just got interesting and a little too serious. What? I can see into the future. I know when I'm going to die. <laughs> just kidding! Ah, oh, she would make a good actress. She got me. I hope so. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. About my department. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. You didn't have to tell her all that, man. Come on. Date! Exactly! I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. The fact that she even knows that. Ask for her real name. By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Iris Sagan. I know, weird, right? Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Mm-hmm. Something wrong? And also, that's why he's been having these heart pangs lately. It's because he knows her. No, it's nothing. Bloom Park, Saturday, 1.12 p.m. Excuse me, Yukiname Date. That's right. And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Just like that, huh? Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rush into the scene. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here for today. Thank you all for watching. When we come back, we're going to start off with the investigation along with Iris. Oh yay. <laughs>
<laughs> All the while, guys, this game is really cool. I'm looking forward to playing this again. And if anything else, as usual, guys, until the next one.